That was like being in a bloody prison riot or something. I don't know. Fuck me. Well, just from the moment you walked into my life, impeccably dressed, of course. <laughs> well, actually, you were dressed as a man being eaten by a shark, but that's a one-off. <laughs> <laughs> to me, love isn't found. It's made. It's built. You meet a person you like, a person that you feel that little something special with, and you get to work building that love and that trust, putting in time and effort, and we have put in a lot of time and effort into this relationship, but not because it has been hard, quite the contrary. Loving you has been the most natural and easy thing I've ever had the pleasure of partaking in. In all my many dreams and plans of finding my person, they always came with that princess depiction of being swept up and saved, of having to be half a person in order to be with someone else. And then you came along, totally out of the blue in every way. Firstly, you were and are the most gorgeous prince in shining Scottish armour. <laughs> so already way beyond my wildest dreams. But more importantly, instead of scooping me up and telling me all the reasons I needed to be saved, you took my hand, passed me your sword, and taught me and cheered for me to save myself. I swear to God I'm making you my wife. Loving you just feels right. I work hard because I think that I knew I'd found the once in a lifetime person. The kind of love that if I let it pass, it would be gone forever and I would spend the rest of my fucking life regretting it. <laughs> I fell in love with you just like that. Like it wasn't even a decision in my brain, it was just hardwired in. Not a piece of doubt in sight, so when I did fall in love with you, I fell so fast. Because I have never felt more safe and comfortable with anyone in my life, girl. Not a day has gone past, no matter how hard, where you haven't made me smile and laugh. You have this assurance and belief in me and a grounded, authentic confidence that you have in yourself that has taught and continues to teach me so much about who I am and who I want to be. You're my best friend, my most trusted confidant, my hardest goodbye and my happiest hello. You're my everything, my universe. Meeting you makes me feel like I belong. Meeting you was the best thing to ever happen to me and we only get this one short life and I am so lucky to have found you to share it with. I know we've always said we don't believe in soulmates, <laughs> but the fact is, every time I came to write these vows and try to find the words that could possibly sum up what we are and who you are to me, it was just truly the only one word that seemed to fit. And you know how particular I am with my words. <laughs> So, I don't know if you can tell, but I fucking love you. <laughs> I want you, all of you, every day for the rest of my life. That's it. Kira, I am infinitely yours. Nicholas Gibson Nunn, it wouldn't be me without some cheese. So get ready. <laughs> We've walked through fire together and no doubt we will again. And so my final vow to you is that no matter what, while I'm worth my room on this earth, <laughs> I will be with you. <laughs>